Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add this water in a BGE 0.2.4. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a new file and reload the startup file. So yeah, now we're in the startup file. I want to delete this plane. Hit X and delete. Now I'm going to add a plane by hitting Shift A on the keyboard. Then go to Mesh, Plane. Bring it down a little bit and scale it up. After you've done that, go into the material tab over here and hit new. Okay, now go into the textures tab and hit new. Now split the view just by doing so and switch from the 3D viewer into UV image editor. Now we're gonna open our animated normal map. The download link is gonna be in the description. Sorry. Now you need to navigate to where you have your normal map. I have it right over here. So yeah, this is our animated normal. After you've opened it, press N on your keyboard. Then check animated and check tiles. Set the tiles into 10 and the and Y into 10 too. Leave the start at 0 and change end into 99. And change the speed into 18. Okay. So after you've done that, go ahead into your textures tab again and in the image choose our animated normal map that we just adjusted. Okay. Now go into image sampling and enable normal map. Then under influence in color disable that and enable geometry and set the normal to be 5. So yeah. After you've done that Go ahead now and we're gonna create a new texture. This is gonna be our reflective textures because in real life water reflects stuff. So we're gonna go ahead now and change this from image or movie into environment map. Then over here we're gonna change this into real time. Then we're gonna hit new, hit OK and click on resize. After you've done that, change the mapping from cube into plane. And make sure that rendering mode is set to reflection and not refraction. Now ch change the coordinates into reflection. So now, now we're done with that. Go ahead now and hit a new texture. And now we're gonna open our albedo texture. It can be any water texture that you want. I'll pick the one that I like the most which is this one so yeah now scroll down over here and change blend mode from mix into soft light then go upwards and change the coordinates into reflection now we're almost done now over here in the 3d viewer hit tab on your keyboard now expand this UV image editor and choose the normal map again. Now hit A on your keyboard so you select all the vertices and press S to scale. Now we can zoom out like that so we have more detail in our water. Now we can close that by doing so and we can hit tab again to exit out of edit mode. Now hit zero on your numpad so you switch to camera view and yeah now we have water we're almost done okay it looks good already but there's a lot of stuff that we need to adjust in order to have the most realistic looking water first of all see this shadow over here we don't want that so go into the material over here and you can go into shadow you can expand that like this and just uncheck receive so now the shadow is gone also, in real life, water is transparent, so we're gonna enable transparency and give it an alpha of 0.8. So in, now it's a little bit transparent. Now over here, the way that light is reacting to water, it feels like plastic, not water. Water is quite reflective. So over here in the specular, 
can change this from clock tour into board ISO. You can increase the intensity, I like it at the maximum, and decrease the slope. And now, as you can see, we have super realistic looking water in UpVGP. So this was today's video, hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel, and see you later.